immediately. Chat. We're and it, we actually uh, on one one channel will say, "Oh, we're live," and the other channel will say, "I." Mm -mm. It'll be not exactly coordinated. <laughs> we're delayed. I. Mm -mm. It'll be not exactly coordinated. <laughs> we're delayed. We're delayed. <laughs> this is happening. Gun Talk Live. So it's Thursday. Uh, or we're st this. What do they say? Like it's day ninety three of March or something like that. Is what people keep oh, saying. Jeez. <laughs> they they keep telling me we've moved on from March to April, but I don't believe them. It feels like uh, it feels like June down in, here. In my heart, in my heart, I feel like we're still in February. <laughs> or maybe that's where when I want to go. I just back want to. it to be February. We're still uh, football hey, season is so, still fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. So we do have, so I do have an update. So everybody, you're like, everybody knows if they've been keeping up with me, we're about to welcome in a new family member. Uh -huh. uh, we're about to take hold of a German short haired pointer. Uh, so the four legged kind, not the two legged kind. Um, so anyway, uh, so we're, we're actually getting a puppy and I'll post, I'll post some pictures on a picture on Instagram. Welcome, welcoming him to him or her to the new fold. Um, but yeah, a new German short hair puppy is on its way. Are we are we opening up uh, to the audience to name this German short hair pointer? I think that's a good idea. You know, I mean, you don't we have, should to, have, you don't have but, to use it, but I'm just saying you're open to ideas, if right? You, if you have suggestions, the the names are actually kind of already set in place, <laughs> uh, dictated by my family. So it there, there's some, you know, that's kind of a German Ooh, sounding thing. You could you could you, see Gruber. Would have been a great name. Would have been an awesome name. Yeah. But no, huh? So, uh, so, oh my good. Hey, so Ghost Tactical is actually picking up his German short hair puppy on Sunday. We're picking it up on Saturday. So, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, Ghost Tactical. We'll be walking through this uh, journey together. So, send us pictures. Drop drop me some pictures at uh, kj at guntalk com, and we'll. We'll we'll team up on some uh, tactics on how to um, approach this training. Um, I'm but. I'm watching Facebook. I'm seeing your comments, guys. Um, some of some of them are saying the stream is a, a little bit spotty, keeps jumping off and on. I don't know, man. We just tested the the, the speed of our internet, and it was good. But who knows? The the guys over in Palo Alto, California, are mad at us. That maybe, perhaps. Let's let's go conspiracy theory on it. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think that that really needs to happen, because YouTube is floating along. <laughs> we are sending a perfect stream. We know that Michael's over there. He's like, dude, the stream is, is perfection. It's beautiful. Yeah. So we're gonna blame Facebook for this. So let's get it started officially. Welcome into Gun Talk Live. Today's Gun Talk Live is brought to you by Springfield Armory and Crimson Trace. Complete focus. Um. I think we're going to have some fun today. We may irritate some people. <laughs> we may upset some people, which is, you know, we got to mix it up a little bit. Things are weird right now, so there's a lot to talk about. Huh, KJ? Yeah, we. Uh, uh, there's so much going on in the world today um, and in our realm. Um, and everybody probably joining us in, they all kind of understand the readiness aspect of what we're dealing with right now and, and how to better protect ourselves and our families. And, and that's really kind of what today's about. And uh, so we got some new products, but uh, but it's just a wild time. It's just a wild time. So tell us about the giveaway. What do we got? Uh, hey, our giveaway today, uh, and I've already been in contact. The product is already out the door, but uh, Stephen won it last week, uh, and his comment was pretty basic. I mean, there was nothing like over like zealous about his comment. Like Mr. Dilworth trying to find the Gun Talk TV app. In the Apple App Store, which that kind of came at the tail end of the um, conversation, and it was right at the end where I you just go in, and in your App Store, just search Gun Talk, and it'll bring up the Gun Talk TV uh, app, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to watch us there anytime you want. I'm so glad he brought that up. It gives me a chance to plug it. <laughs> so we have oh there you we go. have a new uh, platform, Gun Talk TV, GunTalkTV.com, but also Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, a free iOS app, a free Android app. All of the content is free. Other people try to charge you to watch their videos. 
we're going to not charge you. It's a different concept. We're not sure if it's going to make money or not, not charging people, but it should be fun. We're going to make it up on volume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. We'll, we'll definitely try that. But uh, anytime you guys comment, okay, look, um, Luke gets it. Boyd gets it. The guys who turn in every week, they get it. Every time you enter, no matter what, that comment goes in to actually win what's on this week. Well, just for you guys, Mr. Uh, Dr. Benjamin Bennett, uh, he missed out. Apparently, he didn't tune in last week and check the comments from YouTube. That's how you win on YouTube, oh. okay? I can't email you, but on Facebook, I can actually reach out and talk to you. But he didn't pick up his AR500 Testudo 2.0. Sure would be nice to have right carrier. now, I'm just saying. Hmm. Yeah. So, you guys, this week, it's going back on the auction block. So, it's brand new. Oh, brand spanking new. Now, yeah. I wore it once for a picture. But, it, I mean, it's ready to go. All you need to do is buy, like, some Class 3A plates or something like that, wherever you want to do. Um, you could leave it as is um, and just kit it up and get it out the door. But this could be your go bag. Uh, this could save your life. Um, so, get a plate carrier. Get a, I mean... You're there. That's some so useful gear. Every, very useful, absolutely. Um, but especially, like you say now, um, it's, my gosh, who wouldn't want a plate carrier and just order you some plates to go in it and you're good to go. So other useful gear that people are thinking about right now, and one of our sponsors, Sig Sauer. If you're looking for ammo, they're an ammo company. Oh, yeah. And sometimes when you're looking for stuff, don't look where everyone else is looking. Think outside of the box. So actually, Sig Sauer updates their available ammunition daily at SigSauer.com. In stock today, Elite V Crown 9mm in uh, 115 grain and 124 grain, 200 and 500 round cases of 556 FMJ. What? Wait, what was that? Uh, 230 <laughs> grain, 45 auto plus P, uh, LE surplus duty ammo, 30 out 6, Springfield Elite, match grade. 300 blackout, a leech mat grade, and subsonic tipped hunting, which is actually really cool. Find out more. That's really cool. Find your ammo, your ammo at sigsour.com. Also Ruger, the Ruger 5.7 chambered in the high performing, low recoiling 5.7 by 28 millimeter caliber is, uh, or cartridge, is a smooth shooting pistol packed with impressive ergonomics, including easy reach trigger. Let's let's skip the this stuff. We shot the Ruger 5.7. We all enjoyed it. It's pretty cool. Um, you have the magazine holds up to 20 rounds of both the 10 and 20 round models for mm -hmm. folks who live in states that require a 10 round magazine. Uh, pop on a red <clears> dot or a laser, head to the range for some fun. Find out more at Ruger.com. We appreciate the sponsors making this thing possible. Oh, absolutely. Um, so there's new products coming out in the middle of all this stuff. The One of the big launches so this week one of the big launches is Hornady. Hornady brought out the six millimeter arc. And KJ, we were talking a bit, a little bit about this. This is kind of neat. So, yeah, it's actually, it's really cool. I know what they've done in the quarantine. Uh, basically, Hornady's pretty much said, you know, we're gonna keep producing ammo and we're gonna produce something brand new. And uh, this is kind of a directive off of a, a military uh, request. Yeah, and they kind of based it off the six five Grindel, um, which is interesting, um, but it's all basically designed to be shot out of that AR fifteen platform, that semi auto platform. But there's a whole laundry list of companies already producing guns for this round. Yeah, they that's one of the things. So when you bring out a new cartridge, a lot of times you, an ammo company will bring out a new cartridge, and then you go, "That's neat," but I can't find a gun that shoots this but they actually coordinated right. and there's like a about a dozen different rifle companies that are chambering the six millimeter arc right now now yeah it was it was developed for a department of defense contract the idea of being kind of replacing 308 rifles finding lighter kit but still the same or better performance than a 308 certainly ballistically right. um when you're shooting out to distance and that's that's the idea, and this is what the six millimeter arc is all about. Um, for a lot of people, 
it may not be, you know, it's, it's kind of filling a, a, it's splitting hairs, it's filling a void that's not there for them perhaps. But if you're into right. long range shooting, a lot of people have moved that six millimeter round or, or a, different variations of the six millimeter round, six millimeter Creedmoor. This one, as you said, it is kind of based on the 6.5 Grindle. There are actually, it's not quite as simple as saying it's a neck, neck down 6.5 Grindle, but it kind of is. Um, and it, and yeah. it's pretty cool. I mean, you, you know, if it's a little, it's something different. Um, you certainly could use it for hunting, absolutely for shooting long range competition. That makes all the sense in the world if you're going to get into that. They even have reloading dies for it. Yeah, they, I mean, they, Hornady, and, and I think most companies are really doing a better job of getting other people on board. I mean, look on the, 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 the side of the screen. I mean, you've got, you know, so many ammo com or gun companies already producing stuff for this. But I, I kind of like the newest launch that I could actually think of. Um, and you guys are probably going to call me out for, you know, there's probably more of them out there. But the recent launch that I kind of liken this to was kind of based off of a military request, and it's the 224 Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. um, I loved shooting that. We took it out hog hunting. We've taken it out, um, you know, shooting long range with it, and it's actually a sweet shooting gun, and I think this one is even less recoil, and you're still able to get those further distance shots and, and maintaining a lot of energy. So it's an interesting cartridge to me, and I initially thought well is this going to kind of kill off the 224 valkyrie talk but looking at the velocities on the 224 valkyrie you're looking at around like what three thousand out of a 60 grain uh bullet so it's it's a, that's a really hot round yeah it um, is. so it's it, it's almost kind of thinking it's almost an apples to oranges type deal well it just depends on what your use case is one of the things that really honestly the 243 and the six millimeter back 50 years ago, one of the cool things about those rounds and even now going into this six millimeter arc round is it's, it's pretty versatile. So you can load it with lighter bullets, make it kind of a varmint load. You can lo load it with yeah. a little bit heavier, go into the 105, 110 grain bullets and make it a great hunting round that doesn't have a lot of recoil, is nice ballistically. Um, but, uh, you know, and if, if you're looking for an excuse to buy something new, this is something new. Right. And I, I think, you know, I, I love the innovation. I love new thinking. And it seems like Hornady is always one of those companies that's continually there in the forefront producing new stuff. I mean, Federal's along the same lines. They're always looking to offer, you know, guys something new, um, something that they're not going to see for a while. Um, and I think that's, I think it's great for our industry. It provides new growth. You know, there might be guys out there that are so recoil sensitive. Don't ask me why. I think guy, most guys probably are like, oh yeah, more recoil. Give me that 460 XVR. <laughs> um, yeah, until you shoot a lot of high recoil and stuff. And then you go, man, it'd be yeah. nice not to get beat up all the time. <laughs> I agree. Now, something that happened today, apparently next week, I'll be headed to Wyoming uh, to shoot some prairie dogs. And honestly, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to see a six millimeter arc on the ground there, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I wish it was, but yeah, maybe hard to find. Yeah, ammo. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Um, but no, we're getting a lot of great, uh, a lot of great uh, <laughs> comments in. Um, hard hunting, hard hitting for coyote is why I picked Grendel over Valkyrie. That's from that's from Boyd, and that's actually a. I mean. It's harder hitting, I right? Mean, and he's right. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're fifteen hundred, you know, foot pounds of energy, um, as opposed to I want to say it's like seventeen hundred or something well, like that. Well, the... yeah, and you're you're able, and what they're doing, what Horny's been doing, is they're these new cartridges. It's not simply oh, okay, now it's a six millimeter. They've actually designed the cartridge where it accommodates these heavier, i.e., longer bullets, which are going to buck the wind and be more friendly when you're shooting at longer distances and that's what it's all about if you're talking about a 105 grain bullet in a six, six millimeter that's a really long bullet you're you're throwing a spear instead of throwing you know a right. duck <laughs> a football um so it's cool you know it's cool it's something new um we gotta we gotta jump into the riot news okay <laughs> 
Um, well, let's let's <sighs> keep it yeah. within our world, okay? Um, yeah. Not getting into I, I agree with that. all the other stuff that's out there. You can there's like 16 different topics to debate within this subject, but let's just talk about protecting yourself, protecting your family, because it's funny. It's not funny. Um, as we got into this COVID situation, people were just a little bit worried about what was going on. And now we actually probably, you know, we were joking about why are you buying a bunch of guns to defend yourself from a virus? Um, right. But now we actually have real violence happening uh, against innocent people uh, that are getting caught up in these riots and all this stuff going on. So let's talk about that. Um, I want to just kind of point well, out a couple things, and we'll we'll dive into this. But we did put a couple links in the description, so you guys can click through if you're interested. One of the things that we've been talking about lately is USCCA, United States Concealed Carry Association, and one of the things that they offer is it's legal protection. Um, if you were in get into a self defense scenario, they offer you legal protection, basically funding to help protect you against criminal charges, get you a local attorney, all that stuff. It's a membership program. They have deals and sign up stuff, but for like, I think it's like 20 something dollars a month, you can be protected. And the yeah. thing you gotta understand is, especially in the environment we're in right now, they may not pin a medal on you if you have to shoot to defend yourself or your family. Um, the climate right now, you if you're you know working in a big city and you get caught up in some craziness, um, the mayor and the chief of police may not you know give you a high five and say good shoot, buddy. No, they're probably going to arrest you. And actually, you're probably going to get gonna arrested. They're going to slap some cuffs on you. You're going to get arrested probably if you're in any type of self defense shooting in most cases. So who are you going to call? Well, and is your attorney that does your did set up your LLC a criminal defense attorney? Probably not. So. I mean, I would just encourage you to take a look at USCCA or one of those other, other organizations. There's a couple other ones that do it, but I know that USCCA is one of the bigger ones. We have a link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Well, we also, and now is not a bad time, and I was actually looking at them and ended up getting one, um, a dash cam, uh, a dash cam for your car Yeah. Uh, that man, it, it'll turn on when you want it to, and it can record, you know, I mean, I think it's like a 180, and this one also happens to have like night vision on it, and is, it's also a GPS as well. So so it serves multiple f functions, but for the first, it's a line of defense. It's, it's like your first, like that's what people are going to see. Um, and so I've never really thought about actually having a dash cam. I always thought, I always thought they were kind of for the motorcycle guys that kind of like to really go fast and sit there and, you know, show their videos to their friends passing cars that are in lockdown. Um, <laughs> but there, it's, it's so much more than that. It, it's, it's your first line of defense when you're sitting there showing a jury, you know, this is what happened. That's your backup almost. I mean, that's your, that's your eyewitness. And so I never really thought about it like that, but Man, it makes a lot of sense now that, given the climate that we're in. Hey, I saw that Barrett just joined us. If Barrett is still on, chime in, man. I know that you have been running a dash cam for several years, and I'm sure you've got some uh, some tips and tricks on that and why you do it and what are the yeah. advantages of it. Um, you know, would you would you do you have a dash cam? Do you think that'd be useful? Um, having it, hey, who knows? Maybe you'll capture a, a tornado on camera or, or something like that. But um, Boyd says he loves or, his dash or cam. It, or, or it might not even be for you. You might catch something else. You know, it. you might catch, you know, something that saves a guy from going to jail for 20 years. True. Yeah, you, know, you never it's know. It's not, I mean, you never know. It's just like your defensive pistol. It's like putting it on every day. It might not be you that it saves. Yeah, so I know we were talking about this this morning and KJ went looking. So, he found one that that looked pretty cool. We have a link in it for it in the description uh, to purchase it if you want to just click over. <laughs> I love how you were looking for it, KJ, and you're like, "Oh man, this is kind of cool. I might have to get one of these." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's easy. It 
it, the, the little Rove camera and it gets great reviews. Um, and so I'm going to have one headed this way. So I, and, and I'm going to run it. I'm going to, I'm going to try to be, try to be a little bit more diligent than I have on, you know, car rides. Cause I'm in the, I'm in the vehicle a lot, you know, whether driving to, you know, Wyoming or Oklahoma or Iowa, wherever it might be, it's just a smart thing to have. So we have, uh, we have a little clip from gun talk radio this week that is kind of talking about riot, these riots and riot tactics and Tom's take on it. Um, let's go ahead and run that so you guys can it's get a little perspective. It's pretty interesting. So I'm watching the news and the riots, and they're not protests. Protests, you go out and you say your piece. Riots are when you try to hurt people or hurt things. Not really with a political purpose. You're, you're just rioting. I see the images of people and they're wearing knee pads and elbow pads. They have come to engage in physical confrontation. They're there to wreak havoc. And it's organized and it's coordinated. And it is an assault on our country. I'm amazed. I'm amazed that the police haven't shot some of these folks. A, a lot of them, actually. So as you look at this, and here, here's the question. First of all, if you're not involved in them, don't get involved in them. Don't go down there. You know, I mean, just because you're a good guy, and you're saying, yeah, but this is my part of town. This is where I go to work. I should be able Don't be stupid. The, the bad guys don't care that you're a good guy, and the cops can't tell that you're a good guy. They can't see your halo. So the best way to protect yourself and your family is to simply not be there. So let's get over that. Now, the other part of this is the whole Antifa thing. And it's clearly, clearly a domestic terrorist organization. I mean, it's all they exist to do. And they've been known to stop cars to pull people out of cars. So my question is this, if you're in the middle of that, you're just trying to get through town, you get roadblocked, they stop you, and they start smashing out your window, what is your course of action? Well, one, and we just saw a, uh, I think it was someone in the Army, just stopped a mass shooter by running over him. And you know, I've talked about that a lot, it's the skinny pedal on the right concept. When you push down on that skinny pedal on the right, you can go fast, you can run over people. And if they're blocking you and somebody's trying to break into your car and somebody's trying to pull you out of your car, skinny pedal on the right, push hard, go fast. Don't worry about what's in front of you. Oh, but Tom, you might, yes, you might. And that is the occupational hazard of being a rioter. You could get hit with a brick. You could get hit with a bottle. You could get hit with a stick. You could also get hit with a 5,000 pound Chevy Suburban. If you choose to go down there and engage in violent felony acts, stuff can happen to you. As far as shooting them, if you try to pull me out of my car, I will shoot you. Done deal. Going to happen. Guaranteed, 100% every time. So, I mean, just there it is. I'm going to try not to be there. But if you block the road and you try to pull me out of my car, you break out a window, you start reaching in, I am going to light you up like a Christmas tree. I'm also going to go with my whole scenario of skinny pal on the right. Get away from it. And if people happen to be standing in front of you, lighting fires and trying yeah. to stop you, occupational hazard, dude. Sorry. You chose poorly. So, what is your plan? What is your plan? Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, the first idea is just don't go there. That's, and, and that's, and maybe I guess Tom kind of supplanted, subplanted that into my mind because as we were talking to, about this throughout the week, I kind of had said, um, you know, the guys who are diligent about their safety and they take it seriously and they love their family and they take their family's safety seriously, just don't go down there. That's not, that's not, that's not our game. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and the more and more I think about it, it just makes sense. You know, keep up with your local news. As ridiculous as it sounds right now, um, you will be alerted. We have a great device right here 
that keeps us alerted at all times um, and stay on top of it. Um, build your net. I think build your network, you know, build some guys around the community that you trust, that you all can kind of keep each other involved. Um, like, Hey, this is going down. Stay away. You know, yep. I mean, yep. Um, it's just <laughs> Tony, Tony, uh, has a comment on Facebook. He says, I'm offering free bumper rides to anyone like that. <laughs> There you go. Bumper rides. Um, we had, uh, we've got some good, Luke says, you know, you reap what you sow. Absolutely. And those who go looking for trouble usually find it. You're absolutely right. Um, that's why we don't go down there. You know, I, th I think a lot of folks are actually starting to find this out that, you know, we don't carry a gun so we can use it. We, we're carrying a gun in hopes that we never use it. I guess that's not what we want to do. We don't want to use that skinny pedal on the right. That's not our goal. No. I mean, my goal is not to go, ooh, I can go run over some rioters or some looters. Like that. No, I'm just not going to go down there. Let them do their thing. Like that's that's not me. Yeah. Well, I you know, I hope and which I'm sorry, which which is why like companies like USCCA make a lot of sense and you had said it earlier before the call. You know, if you have a heart attack, you're not calling your family physician. Right. That's not the guy. I want a heart specialist. I want the guy who who knows his stuff. And that's why, like, getting a buffer so you know who to call in situations like this. And nowadays, it's more important than ever. You want someone who specializes in this stuff. And that's why I think, you know, you're dealing with the criminal defense attorneys versus just some attorney. Um, you know, you want someone who's familiar with this stuff. They have expert witnesses. They have, and and I guess the one of the important things is they will back you up uh, financially. Yeah, absolutely. And like, what 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 is it on a, on average? If you're in a self defense shooting of any type, it's going to be a hundred thousand dollars. Correct. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's gonna I mean, be so fifty to hundred or more. I don't know who, who has that line around. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just not. Yeah, exactly. So. I think it's a smart well. move. Um, so you know, what do you guys plan to do uh, this weekend? Hopefully, not go down to the riots. Maybe uh, <laughs> go yeah. go get some trigger time. Um, we're we're you mentioned it briefly, but as far as the hunting mm -hmm. side of things go, we're we're kind of in in shooting season now, right? People even out up north are thawing out, uh, going out shooting sporting clays. Out west, you're going out and shoot, shooting uh, prairie dogs, doing prairie dog shoots, mm -hmm. which is so much fun. Oh my gosh, we've ever, never done that. Yeah. So fun. Um, but, you know, what do you guys got going on? Uh, Boyd says not going to the city. Stay out here in the burbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, that's the, the, I think that's the majority of folks. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are getting out shooting now, and, and that's a good thing uh, because we are, we are having an influx of new shooters out there. And if, if my advice were to do anything, it's help new shooters. Yes. They need us now more than ever. Um, help those that are reaching out. Um, I'm loving the memes that are coming out, and it's all these guys, liberal friends coming up and say, hey, can I? And I think Joe Rogan even had someone ask him, hey, can I borrow one of your guns? I'm getting really scared right now and go, I'm sorry. That's not how this works. You, you can't take one of my guns. Right. Oh, come on. No one will know. Oh, but no, there's there's rules. And they're like, wait, what do you mean there's rules? They don't know the rules. Yeah, they don't know the rules. Tell me about this gun show loophole. <laughs> tell me about that. Right, yeah. Because um, I need a gun. I really need I really need a gun right now. Don't let your friends forget this. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help you. Don't let them forget this. When, when, when we get six months down the road and they're talking smack to you about why we need common sense gun control and common sense regulations. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. um, this is, these are the stuff that they're pushing for. And when you're in the middle of this, this is what we're talking about. Don't let them forget this, but let's, let's not be a jerks about it right now. Let's yeah. help out. Let's, let's invite people to go shooting. Um, let's try to be a friend. Let's try to educate them. I, you know, even, you know, I'm hearing from a lot of friends who were never into guns, never interested. Now they're going, oh, what should I get? What should I get? And there's mm -hmm. a lot of the what gun should I buy thing. I think a lot of a lot of us watching this and, and on this maybe have favorites, but let's try to 
encourage them to get a little bit of education. It's not really, um, it's not about what's the right hey. gun. Man, I love Tom's reports. I love Tom because he, when he goes up to Idaho, the majority of his reports are, we just loaded up all our guns and went out shooting. I took to people that I haven't been shooting, and I let them shoot whatever they wanted. Start off yeah. with a little twenty-two, and worked our way up. And and that's probably the best thing we could do is say, let's take a lot of guns out. Let's let them experience why we love this so much, and start them off with a twenty-two. I don't care if they're a big dude. They start them out with a twenty-two. If they're not familiar with it, let's get to know the guns yeah. and how they operate before we start. You know outfitting them with 50 bmgs and stuff i'm i'm a big fan of always starting with a 22 when someone's new to shooting it doesn't matter if it's a full-grown man i mean start, start with a 22 and it's fun we all like shooting 22s be honest come on um yeah that's a good place to start so i mean i think uh you know anything else that you got to cover here mr kj no i think we've covered we've actually covered a lot from new products to riots and everything in between but uh Anyway, uh, you know, hey, don't forget, f follow our newsletters. Tom has a great piece uh, today on carry, changing your carry depending on your climate and what you're in right now. It's a really great piece. Um, and we've got an interesting one from Mr. Mike Sampson. He's a kind of a featured editor for us. And he's got one on an interesting $750 trio of guns that he ended up with and purchasing from a guy. So it's pretty cool. There's a ton of value in used guns. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, 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 I got another one. <laughs> yeah. Father's Day is coming up. Yes, it is. Okay. Father's Day is coming up. If you want to drop subtle hints, sign your wife up for our newsletter wow. because starting tomorrow, we are going to start having deals for father's day so if you have ideas i like it sign your wife up for our newsletter why am i getting this email from gun talk i don't know babe but look at that deal on that new fn pistol that's pretty sweet <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool huh man well, i've been doing a lot of work well, in the yard lately well played well played <laughs> yes sign all of your your girlfriend's wives whatever up for this or your husband if you're a lady watching this and yeah. then drop that not so subtle hint uh, you guys, yeah. thanks for watching Gun Talk Nation. Everybody be safe out there. Nate, this isn't Gun Talk Nation. This is Gun Talk Live. Gun Talk Live. <laughs> and uh, I was wondering if you're going to catch Gun that. Talk Nation, yeah, but you can you listen to Gun Talk Nation, too, on the podcast. It's a yeah. good show, too. Um, you guys be safe out there. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.